Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and I know inaabangan nyo to. I will be having Math 5's second quarter week 1. Alam ko madami nag-aabang sa Mathematics 5 so medyo naantala yung pag-upload. No. So, kung hindi ka pa nakala, nakasubscribe sa channel ko, please subscribe now para... And do not forget to hit the notification bell para lagi kang updated kung may bagong video ako na in-upload. So now, the title of our lesson is Place of Value and Value of a Digit of a Given Decimal Number through 10,000. So first, what is Place of Value? So, when we say place value, it is the value location of a digit in a number. Now, the place value and value of each digit in a given decimal number depends on their places. After going through this lesson, you are expected to give the place of value and value of a digit of a given decimal number through ten thousands. Now, let's study the given table below. Meron kayo sa module nito sa 5 4 a So, pwede kayo sumabay, pwede kayo magbuklat ng inyong module. Observe how the place value and digits differ in each other. Now, look at here. So, we have here the place value. We have the place value for the whole number. We have hundreds, tens, ones. So, ito yung decimal point natin. So, sa decimal point natin, the left, part, uh, the left digits after the decimal points are the decimal numbers. So, ang kasunod ng decimal numbers natin ay tens. So, kung mapapansin nyo, kapag decimal numbers, meron tayong THS sa dulo ng place value. So, we have here the hundreds and we have the thousands and we have the ten thousands here. Now, in our example, we have 0 0.2345, pero hindi siya ganong basahin. The digit 0 is place, is a placeholder of one's place. So, ito yun. Yung digit na 0, siya ay placeholder dahil wala tayong whole number. So, we write 0 as a placeholder. The digit 2, ito po, is in the tenths place. So, nasa tenths. Ang place value niya ay tenths. And its value is 0 0.2. And the digit 3 is in the hundreds place. And its value is 0 0.03 or 3 hundredths. And we have the digit 4 is in the thousands place and its value is 0 0.004 or 4 thousandths. And the digit 5 is in the place of value 10 thousandths and its value is 5 ten thousandths. Hence, 0 0.2345 means 2,000 345 10 thousands. So, para mas maintindihan niya yan, magbibigay pa ako ng example. Now, here. Here is another example how you can give the value and place value of a given decimal. Now, We have here the digits 2 and place value is 10 and its value is 20. We have the digit 1, nasa place value siya ng 1s at ang value niya ay 1. And we have the digit 9, nasa place value siya ng 10s at ang values niya ay 9 tenths. We have the digit 8, nasa hundreds place value siya, at ang value niya ay 8 hundreds. 
and we have the digit 7, at ang place value niya ay thousands, ang value niya ay seven thousands. And we have the digit 6, ang place value niya ay nasa ten thousands, kaya ang value niya ay six ten thousands. Now, kapag inad niyo itong mga values na to, makakabuo tayo, the item is 21 and 9,876 or 21.9867 and can be read as 21 and 9,876 10 thousands. So, kung mapapansin nyo, kapag isinulot siya into words, laging ang kadugsong niya sa dulo ay yung last place value ng decimal number 10. Now, let's proceed to the next slide. Now, we have here the place value table. Maglagay tayo ng mga digits and then let us try to write it into words and let us try to identify the place value and value of each digit. Now, lagay tayo sa decimal point. Lagay tayo. Lagay tayo ng number dito. Lagyan natin ng 1, 3, lagyan natin 2, 7, 8, and 6. So, ang place value ng 1 ay 10s. Ang place, uh, I'm sorry, ang place value ng 3 ay 1s. Ang place value ng 2 ay 10s. At ang place value ng 7 ay 100s. Ang place value ng 8 ay 1000s. Ang place value ng 6 ay 10,000s. Ano ngayon yung value niya? 1 tens. So that is 10. 3 ones. That is 3. Ito yung value niya, ha? And we have... 2 tenths, we have 0 0.2. 2 tenths. We have 7 hundredths, we have 0 0.07 or 7 hundredths. We have 8 thousandths, we have 0 0.008. We have 8 thousandths. And we have 6 ten thousandths, we have 0 0.0. 0, 0, 6. We have 6, 10 thousands. Now, if we are going to write that, we have 13.2786. And if we are going to write it in words, we have 13 and 2,000. Seven hundred eighty six. And we your last place value eighty six ten thousand. So this is how we write this given into. Words we have thirteen and two thousand seven hundred eighty six ten thousands. Now let's have another let's have another given. Let us write the digits two five, then decimal three four one. Now, what is the value of 2 tens or yung 2? So that is 20. And what is the value of 5 ones? We have 5. We have decimal point. The value of 3 here, we have 3 tens. We have 4 hundredths. We have 1. Wait. 1. 10,000, uh, 1,000, and we have 5, 10,000. So, if we are going to write this in number, we have 25.3415, or into words, we have 25 and 3, 
刀神。Four hundred. Fifteen. Medyo pangit ang sulat. Fifteen. Ten. Thousands. So this is how we write this into words. Now, let's proceed to the next slide. So let us try this activity. Let's write the value and place value of the underlying digit here. Now, so we have here 145 thousands. What is the value of 5 here? So we have here 0. Yung 1 at 4, papaltan mo lang din ng 0. Then, copy 5. So ano napansin nyo? Napaltan ng 0 yung Ibang number, ibang digits, ang natira lang yung hinahanapan mo ng place value at value. So, what is the val place value of 5? That is, tinan natin, ito ay tens, hundreds, thousands. The place value is thousands. Now, let's proceed to this given. We have 2 and 5,167, 10,000. So, hahanapin natin yung value nito. That is 0 0.006. So, ikatlo pa rin siyang digit. We have tens, hundreds, thousands. The place value is thousands. Now, how about this one? 8. So, yung 11, papaltan mo pa rin ng 0. Yung 3, yung 4, yung 7, then copy Eight. Therefore, the value is 8, 10 thousands. So, the place value is 10 thousands. How about this one? What is the value of this one? So, we have 0 0.01. Or, and about to, tens, hundreds. The place value is hundreds. How about this one? So the value is 0 0.3 or the place value is tens. So this is how we solve this or complete this table. Now let's go to the next page. The direction is write the place value of the digit 4 in each number. So, aalamin nyo kung anong place value ng 4. So, here, we have here, 416,000. So, eto, anong place value nito? Ang place value niya ay tenths. What is next? How about here? Anong place value nito? So, eto yung decimal. The number to the right of the decimal or the whole number. So, ano yung unang whole number that is ones. So, here we have here 42 and 5 thousands. Anong place value daw ng 4? Kung ito ay ones, ano ito? This is tens. So, we have here 12 and 3,054, 10,000. Anong value naman itong 4 dito? So, we have here tens, hundreds, thousands. We have 10,000. Alright. Now, let's clear this one. Let's proceed to the next activity. Alright, write the numbers in words. So, isulat naman natin into words sila. Now, we have here 4 hundred 16 Ayan, 416 lang ba siya? 
no, idudugsong natin yung place value ng 6. So, we have your tenths, hundreds, thousands. So, this will become 416,000. Next, we have, let us write this, 24. Yung decimal, paano isulat yung decimal? Yun ay end, 24 end. And ito, pa, paano babasahin? 500. 530. 5. Anong kadugsong? Anong place value ng 5? So, we have 24 and 535. Tau. Sense. Now, let's have the next given. Mm. So, we have here 42. Yung decimal and hindi mo pwedeng banggitin 005. Hindi na babanggitin yung 0. Proceed na tayo sa 5. And 5 thousands. Next given, ayan, we have 12 and 3,054 Ayan. Pang anong place value ng 4? We have tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousands. Fifty-four, ten, thousands. Alright. So, this is how we write the given decimal into words. So, lagi natin idinudugsong yung last place value ng decimal. Now, here naman, let's write the given decimal into Fraction. So, pwede natin siyang isulat into fraction. So, paano ba natin basahin to? We have 145,000. So, isulat natin. 145,000. We have here 5,167,000 over 10,000. And we have here 3,478 oh, 10,000 ang, ang denominator niya ay 10,000 and we have here 9,183 10,000 oh, hindi to decimal point ha comma yan comma arc and, and we have here 3,315 10,000 So, kung meron ka namang 0.5, that is 5 tenths. Kung meron kang 0.15, that is 15 hundredths. If we have 0.75, that is 75 hundredths. So, this is how we write the decimal. Kung ano yung last place value niya, yun yung kanyang denominator. So, this is how we write the decimal into fraction. Let's proceed. And that's it for this video. And hope nakatulong ako kahit papaano sa inyong sasagutan. And do not forget to hit the notification bell para lagi kayo updated sa aking video. And the like button and share button of this video. Please hit the like and share button of this video. And thank you. God bless. Thank you.